So um, I missed the weekend by a day, but I did finish the gesture component enough to release it today. So I added a little bit of example content to the um, template to show off kind of how to use it. I made a gesture viewer, which will loop through the gestures in the current database and display them to you. And I just recorded these gestures a little bit ago, so and they're not clean, the L is atrocious, but it's hard to draw with this wand extended. If you were to record gestures, I would just leave it on the controller, you know, do it like this. It'd be a lot cleaner and simple, but it's example content, it doesn't matter. I have the delete disabled by default. You can enable it on this for when you're like drawing with this, you know, you can check out what the one you just drew is, and if you don't like it, you can delete it and redraw it and then delete it and until you have it nice. But um delete button not enabled by default use wand to draw now this example wand by default it only draws gestures um, it and detects them it doesn't record them you can set a boolean on it and then it'll actually record instead of drawing and I have it set to odd hide it a new feature today that um, you can flatten a gesture out which is why these have no X access to them no depth <coughs> so when you record a gesture you can you know flatten it out and then it won't have the um, 3D part to it, which actually makes it detect better. Because with 3D, I was getting, you know, parts out there when I was drawing a circle, and it was all messy. All my gestures I had before, I realized, were very messy when I started displaying them. Because when I originally recorded them, I didn't have this to go off of. So it was pretty bad. For when actually um, just detecting gestures, I currently enable 3D mode because it's just prettier and more fun like that. But it does detect better if you um, flatten the gesture when detecting as well. But I mean, it, it's actually accurate enough that I don't think it really matters much without that, so yeah. All right, so uh, first gesture that's part of the example is I drew a very terrible circle. So it's just drawing a circle in the air. I enabled mirroring on both axes for this. So you can uh, go this way with it, and you can go that way with it, and it's a circle. Like before, it doesn't matter what size you draw it at, it's going to detect it because I'm scaling it down to down or up to the correct size for the database that you're saving it in. Next is a square, it's just draw a rectangle or square as long as it's close enough to this shape, it'll work. You know. Next is an S. It's drawn S. There we go. Next is the star. Um, you just draw a star. It's also is set to mirror to both, but I'm. Oh, I did it. Okay. I'm really bad at drawing it backwards because that's not how I've ever done it. I'm left handed, so most people would want the reversed version of it. I mean, it should work with the reversed version. L is just, you know, draw an L. There's your L. And hump is just like your, like a peaked thing. I don't know. Um, I didn't tweak any of the settings for any of these gestures because I wanted to get it to where it's just the default settings is good enough to get up and go. And then when you want, you know, perfection, you can go back and tweak the settings. So with the flattening that I added to it, um, all of these are good enough just with the initial recording to be accurate and stable. Yeah, I missed the edge there. So if you ever wanted to make something easier or harder to detect, that's when you would go in and start editing those settings I talked about in the previous video. But, um, I still have a cough. The wand is in, the viewer is in, that spline editor that I'm not finished with yet is in, not in the level because I'm not done with it, so don't worry about that for now. You can uh, view all your gestures in your database, you can create new databases and load them in, you can record and display gestures and detect them, and throw events for when one's detected and do what you want. So I consider it feature complete and on bug test mode now. So um, 4.19 should release this week. I need to finish migration on that when the first preview's out. And then I guess I'll decide uh, what next feature I want to go from there. So cheers and have fun.